more than that. Wow, so this is like a big time safety inspection. Huh? A very good morning to you from our first theme park worldwide vlog of 2016. We are here in Anaheim, California at the original Disneyland. Of course, it's me, Sean Sandbrook. There is the beautiful and original Disneyland Castle. And who am I with? I'm with the one, the only, first time in Disneyland, Alex Good morning, Grum. how are we? Hello, Theme Park World. How are you feeling? I'm very well, thank are you. Are you ready for a brand new season, a brand new year of Theme Park I World Wide Vlogs? This is a great way to kick it off, isn't it? A great and place to be at. Correct me if I'm wrong, but last year, you didn't go on any foreign no, Theme Park World no, uh, trips. Somebody, somebody tweeted me and told me this, that I was the only regular Theme fans. Park World. He has got fans. Somewhere. <laughs> they, just don't, they just don't know I exist. Uh, or I don't know they exist. Um, no, somebody tweeted me saying that out of all the main regular vlog stars, I was the only one that didn't go on a foreign trip this year, so I thought I'd kick off 2016 by coming to a Disneyland Resort Anaheim with you, Sean. I mean, look at this, it looks gorgeous. You'll notice that um, some of the Christmas decorations are still going to be up in this vlog. When we arrived last night, uh, you know, the tree was still up, it looks absolutely amazing. And if by magic, it all disappeared overnight, which is quite crazy. Uh, but we are still in the Diamond 60th celebration here at Disneyland. That's ongoing uh, until September this year, but you'll notice we've still got all the fantastic stuff that we loved uh, when we were here in September. Of course, I remember, uh, well, you should remember that we bought annual passes to the park. So that's why we come back. We thought it's January. Why not come back to Disneyland? January is normally a boring month for us theme park enthusiasts. Let's go out to California and come over here to Disney, which is going to be great. So here you go. I'm mine as well. I thought I'd get one yeah, last Alex here. has got his. I'm yeah. excited. Mr. Alex Crump. Yeah. Money well spent. Every time you come in the park in the morning, it's like, hi, Alex. Hey, hey Alex. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. How are you? <laughs> of course, we've got the two parks here. If you've not watched one of our Disneyland vlogs before uh, or know much about the park, uh, this is the original Disneyland. It opened in 1955. Of course, Walt Disney's original uh, Magic Kingdom Park. Uh, and transportation. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, we've just had a nice ride up. You saw with the little opening there. We had a little ride up um, on the Disney transportation. I mean, look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Right, let's kick off. Gorgeous day as well, because it's in like, the middle of January. January, like yeah. But yeah, look at that. It looks absolutely beautiful. Let's start off this Disneyland vlog. It's going to be a good one. Place on Earth. Sure is. <laughs> Unlike when we're here in September, Disneyland have started a brand new event. It's the season of the Force, celebrating, of course, the brand new release of the Star Wars film. So we're here, and we're going to get started with Hyperspace Mountain, your first, uh, first ride Mountain. of the day here in uh, Disneyland. Third Space Mountain now. Yeah. Very excited. It's very You'll like this one. I mean, well, I say we'll like this one. I don't know what this version is like. When we were here in September, it was running its Ghost Galaxy overlay. Uh, and Ghost Galaxy was all sorts to do with Halloween and ghosts and it's clues in the name really with that one. But at this point it gets all these different overlays. Uh, I'm looking forward to this, brand new, it's only a few weeks old this, so 25 minutes standby. Not now and not until 9.25 and we'll come back and skim. This is quite a different sort of entrance area to a Space Mountain than the others, of course. Space Mountain Mission 2 at Paris is sort of a you know, very steampunky outdoor queue line. Then you've got this which is more inside, you know, quite sort of futuristic for the time. Find your feet, little restaurant right next to um, Tomorrowland in, in Orlando. Yeah, yeah, at Walt Disney World and Magic empty. Kingdom. Never anyone yeah, in. Yeah, I think that's a closed restaurant they've got there. There we go, look at this. See, this is really nice. Of course, when it was running Ghost Galaxy, there was all projections and stuff as well on the side of the mountain. So I'm not too sure if for hyperspace mountain they're going to be running the projections or not. Uh, but basically, like I say, it's hard to sort of capture Space Mountain on camera, really. It's, you know, it's one of them rides where you have to sort of come and experience it. There you go. I love this view, though. When you're queuing around here, um, you know, you just see the mountain there. Really nice. Hyperspace Mountain, Alex. What did you oh, think? That was wonderful. <laughs> it actually like things are flying at you. And... The way they've used the projections in there, obviously from Ghost Galaxy. Instead of having the ghost come to you, you've got all the, you know, the Star Wars 
the ships. The yeah, uh, spaceships. It, the words can't describe that. You, you can tell how uh, Star Wars models are just too great. Yeah, I mean, I like Star Wars. I'm not a massive, you know, I don't know anything about it. You can tell by my hair, look at my hair, all messy now. Oh, it was messy before I went on, but it's more messy now. <laughs> but that, honestly, that was great. Oh, <laughs> I think Alex just walked into a, a bin or a trash can as he gets called over here. Trash can. <laughs> How do you feel? Like what, what would you give that out of 10 then? That's an 8 out of 10. 9 out of 10. 9, nine out, out of 10. 10. There you go. That's good. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 as well. What I loved about it, you've got a fantastic use of projections. Uh, and I don't know how they did it, but there must be like some sort of strip lights because it's just been shot at you. The lights are sort of sh shining. It looks pretty much at eye level, you know. So it looks like things are being shot right at you. I mean, if you've got your arms up in the air, I'd be scared to put my arms up in the air on that because it looked like the effects were really close. But I don't know, I just can't. <laughs> sort of breath away that did. There we go. Oh my gosh. I see the tears. Oh, oh yeah, I was enjoying that. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I'm enjoying this. Those watching a couple of like Space Man, but what I really like about this Disney, the fact that the, you know, the update the ride at different times of the year, and because of the Star Wars release, they've done a fantastic job. I really enjoyed that. Oh, that was, that was really good. Photo me vlogging. There you go. Right, let's go to our next ride. Brilliant that was. Really good. There's a bin there if you want to whack into it. <laughs> Report to the flight deck for immediate launch to infinity and beyond. Just keep it still a sec while I film the. Just scanning him, yeah, while he's not concentrating. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, you've got to say what, you've got a high school, you've got a flight year, congratulations. Who's tall and who's short? There, so you get his interactive lot. There you go. You, you're short, I'm tall, so I still count that as being a winner. Disneyland monorail. As you can see, we're right at the front with the pilot. The pilot sits just here. Uh, now this is something what you used to be able to do at Walt Disney World until the now famous Walt Disney World monorail crash. They've now stopped you from going in with the pilot at the front. But look at this, I mean, look at this review. Obviously we're on the Mark 7 monorails, which are beautifully curved, really nice design on these. And you get a really nice panoramic, panoramic view out of the windows at the front. I mean, the camera doesn't really do it justice. What, what do you think, Alex? Well, isn't it? It's wonderful. You can see everything. I mean, you can look all the way around. And it's great. I appreciate everything. I mean, look, look at this, though. You know, obviously, all the control panel to show you. Jump up. Jump up. Yeah. All the control panel. Look at that. CCTV system. Radio. You've got his headsets, obviously. All the different controls. Look at that. There you go. I'm the controller. He's got a little horn on there. You're going to take us horn. for a ride. <laughs> oh, That's like everyone's dream job who loves monorails. Big one, big shout out to Greg out there. I know you like monorails. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's have a little ride. Very, very lucky to be able to do this though. Are you feeling the sort of homage already this oh, park's got? You, know, it's very, you can feel Walt's presence in this park. It's a very special place and it's unlike any other Disney park that I've ever been to, you know. All right, so we're right on the Mark 7. This on monorail. To the left of the monorail is the main entrance of Disneyland, the happiest place on Earth. Disneyland is truly an American original. Since its opening in 1955, it has hosted hundreds of millions of guests from around the world, including presidents, kings, and celebrities. It is the original Disney theme park, created and enjoyed by Walt Disney himself. To the right is our transportation plaza, Taxis, hotel shuttles, and public transit stops. This is a really special.
special part of the monorail, coming down, seeing the Matterhorn and Autopia below us. This is Tomorrowland, a land inspired by science Got that for a view. and fantasy. Below us is the Submarine Lagoon, where you can dive into a fantastic underwater adventure aboard the Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. Basically, it pretty much goes round a couple of, sort of figure of eights, really. Home of the world's most famous bobsled run. And beneath us is the Utopia, where drivers of all ages can travel the road to tomorrow. Just, to, just come down the downward helix, up another helix. Public roller coaster. <laughs> That's a nice view, you can just see the top of Paradise Pier in the distance as well. That was a lifelong dream for me, loving monorails and loving Disney parts. To go on the Mark 7 monorail, you know, right in the front with the pilot was a really special experience. First time I've done that, like I say, when I was here in September, I didn't get a chance to do a lot of the things that I wanted to do like that, but we did a lot of the other parks, obviously in California, you know, so that's another reason I've come back, because I wanted to see things that I missed out on last time, and that was something really special, and I hope we get to do that a couple more times while we're here. We're here for, you know, for two weeks around the area, so, you know, we've got plenty of time to get all these things in and take it really easy, but that was great. I mean, what do you think to that? I mean, the pilot and everything, it was just wonderful to interact as well. Very, you, know, you can ask questions, you can do whatever you want. Very exclusive. Yeah, really nice. Well, we're going to do Star Tours. The adventures continue. Oh, it's a Thursday in, in January, and there's quite a city crowd. I mean, it's busy. Good. 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 Without a queue or without people. I mean, yes, it can frustrate the people who thought they'd come for quite a time, but it's good for the park. It's, it's wonderful to see it. Great. There we go. Right, we're going on Star Tours. The adventures continue. Updated version. I really like this one actually. And obviously Paris is the next one to be getting, well, the last one left to be getting updated. Because it's still on the original Star Tours there. I was speaking to some Americans on a forum and they were like, I can't believe that Star Tours in Paris still hasn't been updated, you know, so. All right, let's get on, we'll see you afterwards. Star Tours, the adventures continue. We're having a great day so far at Disneyland. And it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning yet. It's 9.49, and that means it's time for our Fast Pass. So we've just come off Star Tours, the Avengers continue. It was really good. I don't think I've seen that film that we had there before either. It was a bit of a... We had uh, John Boyega from the uh, newest Star Wars, Star Wars Episode 7, um, as a little cameo. And there was quite a lot of updated stuff, I'm assuming, for the new film, which was wonderful. It was really yeah, I enjoyed that. I've definitely not seen that one before. We're now in the brand new Star Wars launch bay. I mean, this had a big green fence around it in September being built. Uh, I mean, this is nice. I like the floor. They're nice lights, aren't they? Imagine them, sort of, in your, in your room above your bed. Very nice. It's a bit Ooh, that's a nice model over here. Right, so we've got the latest Star Wars here, lots of break. Yeah. It's a bit like a Madame Two Swords, isn't it? Is, it is, yeah, wax. This is nice, isn't it? Look at this. Very, uh very modern, you can tell it's brand new this, you can pretty much smell the paintwork. It's huge! It's on two levels! This is like a Star Wars fan's dream bedroom. It is, isn't, isn't it? it? Look at that. Yeah, look at them, any Star I mean, I like Star Wars. I'm not a huge, you know, massive over obsessive fan. The newest one, do there. Very speed from the latest Star Wars. So, a lot of the modern stuff as well. They make these really good for photo opportunities as well because they put the the board at the back. Like, so obviously, if I put the camera at that angle there, you know, it looks great with the background. Well, I'll have a little look around. 
Welcome to the Star Wars bar. Fancy a cocktail, Alex? Do you want a cocktail? Uh, I'll have a crumb special. I'll have one of them, I'll have a woo woo. There we go. Woo woo, just making up things now. I like a woo woo. I'll have a. I'll have a I say something strange. Though. I know what you like. I'll looking have a sparkling at you. Wookie, mate. I'll have a sparkling you want a sex on the beach. Sex? On, I don't know if they do it. I think they do. That's the sex on the beach. So. Tell you what, let's make it more stars. I'll have a ray on the beach. Oh, I like it. Ray on the beach. There we go. That's what I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Nice theming in here, look. He's off. He's walking. He's off behind that nice bit of theming. Very nice, isn't it? Close to see. So this is Superhero HQ. Iron Man, all the many forms of Iron Man. Look at that. It's all these here. Great, you've got some nice interactive games. So much to see in here. I didn't realise it was going to be quite this big in here, did you? That looks quite cool, let's go have a look at that. An Xbox 360 sponsorship in here. Yeah. Look at this, this is quite cool. Oh, look at the floor. Wow. Right, which one are we going to have? Yeah. Choose your own, make your own phone case here. Very cool. So, choose the device. Tech for, me, for me, it's an iPhone. Is this just a fancy in the middle, isn't it? It's been very nice. As long as you've got thirty-seven dollars for a phone case. Is that how much they are? Oh, oh, uh, that's just for a customized, customized and personalized. Mm. Bit pricey. I think we'll leave that one. Forty-five dollars. And then you've got tax as well. Very nice addition, uh, I like it. I'll just stick to, stick to shopping centre, the little island in the middle of the shopping centre for a phone case. Cheap and cheerful. £2.50. £2.50. Let's go. <laughs> We're going on it, it's a small world, aren't we, Alex? Yeah, it's good. Hang on, Alex. That's Alex as well. Hey, this? this is Alex. Yeah, well, I'm Alex. He's a fan of the videos, aren't you, Alex? Yeah. Well, I'm a fan of the videos, and I'm Alex. You're, you're Alex 1, and he's so Alex, Alex 2. 2. Right, there oh, we go. Okay. Wow, that's confusing. I'm very jealous of this Alex, though. I'm not jealous of that Alex. <laughs> no. I'm jealous of this Alex, because he lives how far away from Disneyland? About an hour. An hour. With no traffic. From Disneyland. With an no, hour with no traffic. No traffic. Which, this, which means he lives three and a half hours away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In LA, traffic is bad. But yeah, there you go, it's a big fan of videos. Yeah. Now he's in one. There you go. How did you discover theme park worldwide? Universal Highway Universal Hornets. Halloween Horror Nights vlog. Yeah. We're now going on the happiest cruise that ever sailed the earth. This is it, this is the moment. It's a small world. world, this and is beautiful. Christmas. Yeah, what's special about this as well, obviously it's in its holiday version at the moment, but at night this looks absolutely oh yeah, left or right. stunning. Left. We go left. Yeah, it's in its holiday mode. I mean, you've not seen a holiday one, have you, uh, Alex? Obviously, it happens in Paris as well. I've seen this version at all. Yeah. This is really nice. It's a small world. A little variation on the soundtrack with this one as well. Nice. Beautiful day today for January. A lot better weather than we're getting back home. Alex too thinks we're crazy. He just thinks, you know, this is normal weather. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got his gloves on. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> we're quite well, quite warm, aren't we? This looks amazing at night, and later in the vlog, or in one of our vlogs on this trip to Disney, I'll show you how amazing this looks. There's literally Christmas lights on the whole thing, and it looks amazing. All right, let's go. No, it's 
it's not always Christmas in Disneyland, but this runs until the end of January. So that's why it's Christmas. Ring your bell. Christmas lights, loves Disney and loves it's a small world, this is like a dream. Interesting fact coming up from Alex number two that I didn't know about this Indian man. There you go. So in the US, the tobacco stores usually have something to like let them know, that the public know that they that we, they sell tobacco like cigarettes and stuff like that. So when it opened, this used to be a tobacco store that sold cigarettes and all that stuff. Not the sort of thing you'd expect in Disneyland. Yeah. And actually, Walt Disney used to smoke cigarettes too. Really? Yeah. I reckon many a night he stood right here on Main Street, right in the middle, yeah. looking out over his Magic Kingdom. There you go. Interesting little fact. I mean, I knew there used to be a cigarette shop, but I didn't realize that it was there. So there we go. That's the one. Thanks for that very interesting fact. Yeah. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Moving over from Fantasyland, then over to Frontierland and a ride on the sailing ship Columbia. Look at this. Unique to Disneyland Resort, this one. Look at this beauty. One of the original features of uh, Disneyland, this. You can't show the ship on your face. That's not very nice. I'm sorry. Some of the lighting for. Uh, Fantastic. Oh, thinking of which, you mentioned the Adidas Adidas challenge. Yeah. Who's, what do you think is Adidas or Adidas? What do you think? I don't know. Adidas. Adidas. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because it's American. Yeah. That's why. Americans. Same thing with Nike, you guys call it Nike. Don't you? Yeah, yeah, Nike. Yeah, Nike. Yeah. He's a good guy. He's not. It's actually quite hot for January now. We're getting Alex has took his layers off. And I thought we were the same species with the same thing. No, I'm totally not. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Let's go. 
Columbia has a little secret if you go downstairs. Oh, we are moving. Mind your head coming down here. Mind thy head. Look at this. See, people come to Disneyland for all sorts of different reasons. You know, I, I myself, I love everything, but this here, I love the old school sort of authentic feel of things. Yeah, you, know, you walk around the corner at Disneyland. You're right there. <laughs> You know, everywhere you walk around, you walk around the corner, you can be on one of the most advanced dark rides there is out there today. The next minute you can be, you know, on a ship like this, looking at all this history, you know. That's what I love about Disneyland. All the Disney parks, obviously not just the original, but... And of course we're taking uh, sort of a fight, one of our last trips ever, around the rivers of America, how it is today. Because when we get to the top, I'll show you a little bit and talk to you a bit about Star Wars Land and what's going to be happening to the rivers of America. So we'll go back up the top deck. Oh, that smells nice. We'll head back up the top deck in a second and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about Star Wars Land, which unfortunately is meaning that the Rivers of America is going to be shortened a little bit, but I'll tell you a bit more about that, like I say, when I can actually show you what's going to be happening. So we're back on the top deck. You can just see Fort Wilderness there. It's been closed for quite a while. But this is pretty much where they're going to be cutting off the Rivers of America. So at the moment, you head pretty much straight round here uh, and do you know, quite a long layout when Star Wars Land is put in round the top. Gentlemen, I need everyone to clear the area of the cannon field right right oh, through the yellow. There we go. The cannon will be firing. Back behind the yellow line. Thank you. We gotta go behind the yellow line. Back behind the yellow line, guys. Gentlemen, the Star Fox and Cannon have prepared to fire a warning shot. So, we'll know what's happening. Uh oh. And you guys are kind of used up back against the blue there. Okay. Those of you around the cannon, may speak steadily. We have. Well, the cannon should be a mighty loud. And the gunner's aim be a mighty. Wow, look. That's a good guy. Yeah, Chuck, you may want to cover you here. Pretty good, isn't it? That'd be good shooting, Sarah. Reload and fire too. Now that should put some fear in them. Looks like we're safe for now. Yay, we're safe. That's fantastic. So as I was saying, when the expansion's complete, you literally turn right just here, and the boat will head straight through where them trees are now. Really, oh, I'm getting a clap. Thank you, thank you. Theme park worldwide on YouTube. Thank you. Don't get a clap very often. <laughs> they just don't have the bullets in it. They have the gunpowder. Wait. So this is a really iconic moment. The last few days that you're really going to be able to come around this back bit and see how it is today. Makes you think, are they going to relocate sort of some of this scenery what's around the back now? Is it going to be relocated? I'm sure it will do, but it is going to mean the ride's going to be a lot shorter. As much as Disneyland has got to carry on expanding, I'm not too sure if taking away part of the Rivers of America is right for the future of the park, but we'll see. At the end of the day, they're in the middle of Anaheim, they haven't got much space, so. Give it a few years, we'll be stood here going on two massive new dark rides. So this will be about where the island will end. So where them trees are just there, that'll sort of be where you're uh, coming back in. So this sort of part of the river. It is. And There's the old track of the old ride that used to be here. Right here. Is that generally part of the old yeah. track? It's not just theming now. No, that was part of the old track. They just put the rock there. Just oh, wow. Yeah. I forgot what the ride is, but... Here's the canoes as well that's behind. Yeah. I like the canoes. Yeah, it's a shame. What I did forget to mention just as well, the, uh, the Disneyland Railroad, you know, that's going to be cut across and it's not going to be a circle anymore because Star Wars Land is going to be sort of behind the railway. So hopefully when you come in along the railway here, they're either going to cover it up so you can't see Star Wars or they're going to build some sort of big rocky rock work here or something like that because I was saying to these guys, you know, it's really sad that they're doing it. Um, you know, it's part of the park's history, I understand they've got to expand but 
As long as they do it right, it's got to be done right. It can't be sort of, you know. We'll never dismiss an idea as long as it's done. Yeah, right. it's done right. If I can come on this ship in a couple of years' time and not hear Star Wars over there, it won't be a problem. It'll be, you know, at the end of the day, it's two massive new rides, and it'll be great. But just depends what you can hear, you know, from here. If you can, hey, there we go. Love the canoes. So we'll see, time will tell and we'll see. But if you are planning a trip to Disneyland over the next year, this will be closed along with the Mark Twain, the canoes, the Disney Railway, and Fantasmic. I think myself and Alex Mark II have just been discussing the uh, American English and changing words. So we say sneakers for the, the, the con. Uh, uh, well, I'm way ahead. We say. Uh, we're we're changing the subject. We're having an emotional moment here on the Columbia, you know. Yeah, well, we, it's a happy place. <laughs> like, it's just, it's nice things instead of, you know. Bring just pressure and it's a sad time. It's, 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 it's very sad for a part that's got 60 years worth of history. Yeah, I think. Like Why talk about sneakers and trainers? It's your fault you started this. Beautiful. <laughs> he gets me into trouble. He started this. Adidas. What is it? Adidas. Can you stop saying that? One point. <laughs> it's like Eurovision. He's, he's invalid now. He's a vlog, he's a vlog star now. It so doesn't count. The boat's being counted, but Terms conditions still, apply. The boat's not being counted, but it may still be charged. So another part of Disneyland, what's going to be coming out so, um, for Star Wars, is of course Big Thunder Ranch, where, where we are now, you know. Nice area. Lots of animals and stuff. I don't think this is too much of a loss. I mean, I can't really say it's too much of a loss, because it's only my sort of second time visiting Disneyland. But for some of the people who are in the local area, I can see why this would be sad if you've got memories around here in this area and stuff you know I can see why it'd be sad but me personally I don't think we're losing too much with this but it's still a really nice area of the park but some people may disagree that's the thing I mean like I say this place has had 60 years of memories you know who am I to go round here's Jesse who am I to go round saying you know what's right and what's wrong to it yes they need to expand Disneyland will never be completed famous Walt's words but See, that's one of the last times you're going to be able to use that tap. How do you feel? Tap, isn't it? So that tap, 60 years old, mate. <laughs> nice mates, too. <laughs> they used to be Walt Disney's bathtub. Walt, yeah. Walt Disney's bathtub. That's that. nice. That's a nice idea. Put your face down. I might do that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Let me turn the camera off. I'm going to do that. BRB. On the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> so, we're just jealous of him because he can actually use his phone, we can't. Uh, uh, yeah, that and the fact that he lives an hour away, I'm more jealous of that. What, I like the fact you can't use your phone. Wait, well, you say we can't use a phone, we can, but we have to use expensive data charges thanks to EE um, and any other mobile provider. We're in Disneyland Park and I've been asked to give a shout out to Matt Dixon and Kathy Kitchen. Uh, they asked me to give you a shout out, so hello guys from Disneyland California. There we go. Uh, yeah, I, uh, you're right. But um, yeah, I mean, this ride, it doesn't look like much. Obviously, you just think, yeah, some trees there. You won't think there's a big warehouse behind that where. Um, this ride is, you know, it's quite a big dark ride. Like I say, when I was here in September, you'll probably remember our reaction from the vlog there. I wasn't sort of expecting it. I just thought, oh, it's going to be a little like the Fantasyland yes. dark ride, you know. Yes, they sell milk. They sell milk. Yeah. Oh, that is. <laughs> Up and Up and milk. There we go. We'll have to go and get some. <laughs> yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Thank you. Oh, that's a relief. Milk's available. Milk and, and there we go. Fat free. Fat free. Red milk for people at home. I like your Christmas top. Thanks. You didn't realise you were a bit too late. No, not for Disney, I'm not. But so are Disney taking down their decorations. So, so. I, it still counts, I, I'm still... Right, let's get on. It said it was a 10 minute queue and I was like, no way is that 10 minutes. And but it actually is going to be. Minutes, How long have we been? Oh, 3 minutes 43, that's a very posh wash you got there. Yeah. What, what's it, what is it, what type of watch? It's a Fitbit. A Fitbit, oh, that, they've been the trend at Christmas. Does what, a Fitbit? Yeah. Fitbit. 
Don't you make a joke to me. I saw you look at me with your eyes. I would, no, I was going to say with Bethany Comfort, but that's, oh. that's, that's, all, that's all I was going to say. Let's get on the ride. We'll see you afterwards. I will kill you. I will really kill you. It's still rolling. <laughs> all in the camera. This music fits Alex looking round. Oh, believe me, Alex. I'm just really upset with what you just done. I'm going to walk away, but I can't swim in the key line. Look at this fanny pack. Uh, what? <laughs> it's what? What's that? Fanny pack. A bum bag. Oh. <laughs> that's, oh, that's the American way of saying it. Oh, oh the American way of saying it. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Sorry about that, this is a family channel. So just to confirm, what, did, what was that in American? Fanny pack. F fanny pack. Oh, I can't yeah. say it. Do mean just... I love Alex's fanny pack. And so does Beth, so let's get on. Some nice foods. How many ketchups do you need? <laughs> What's going on here? How many ketchups? I got them just in case. Um, so we've got, well, if you're sharing, mate, we'll, we'll start sharing. <laughs> Hang on a minute, we've got the milkman over here sat here with. It's so embarrassing. You go into these I places, you know, the these fat. <laughs> quality restaurants, and then you get him, yeah, can I have four low fat milks, please? <laughs> <laughs> the American woman looking at him like. Sure, how you many have you got four kids? No? <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody like this in the UK, you know? <laughs> We all milk. Milk in now we've got ketchup over here, that's your new name now, it's not Alex, ketchup. Ketchup. Ketchup Alex. Tomato ketchup. Nice. You can do that in the queue if he's walking behind. Ketchup Alex. Ketchup no, Alex, come on, point. Point. Did you get it? No, 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 I didn't get it, I got it. But... <laughs> it What's over there, what's part of there, mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. Uh, mustard. 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 English mustard. Marmite. Marmite. Ugh. Marmite. Oh. Do you hate it? Do you hate it? He doesn't know what it is. Yeah. No, you don't want to know what it is, it's just vile. I can't even describe Next up, we're going on Splash Mountain, See, which is one, one of my favourites. Mate. He starts the conversation <laughs> and then he cuts it off when he feels ready. We're off to Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain. What do you think of Splash Mountain? It's good, I like it, but I don't uh, like you. I don't really like you. My milk, yeah. Just made the hotel cheaper coming with him, you see. But, but what do you think of Splash Mountain? It's good. It's it's probably it's my favourite. Um, Is that your favourite Disney ride? No, a lot, a lot Your favourite flume ride, yeah. yeah. Definitely. It is for me, either that or Chip Ass at Fantasyland, but after sitting here and looking at Splash again, and after riding it last night, definitely Splash is still number one, but Chip Ass sits just behind it. It's a good ride, right, let's go and give her a ride. Come along for this one, and we'll all get wet together. Let's go. Good ketchup. Fine. 1% low fat milk. Stop doing this. That's just accent. Zippity doo dah, zippity day. Oh my, oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine heading my way. Zippity doo dah, zippity day. There we go. This is my British accent. How, how am I doing? Am I doing well? Well, I hope so. I'm not talking a normal British accent now. That's all right, wasn't it? All right, I'm stoked, mate. Yeah. I'm stoked. <laughs> Darby, Darby, actually. Let's go. We're going on Splash Mountain. Whee! Zippity doo dah, zippity dah. What do we do on here? We're going to go. Oh! Show us a good. Show us a good. Oh! There we go. Let's go. Oh! Somehow, I've ended up on the front of Splash Mountain. I'm going to get wet. Which means they're going to be wet for the rest of the day. I don't mind because it's Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain! Splash Mountain! Here we go! 
Yeah, what was that? KFC Megaway. KFC Megaway. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. It's going to come over. It's going to come over. Oh. oh. Hey, Merry Christmas. Be hey. Bob Worldwide on YouTube. Hey. Oh. This first drop's done with the wettest one for the front row. Got the sun's out. January, I'm on Splash Mountain. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Not too bad. Not too bad. Really good show, is he a ball? So we've just come off Splash Mountain. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not with in it. January. I'm just ready for Paris. Yeah. Yeah, about Halloween. If we were back in the UK now, we would not be even think. We wouldn't even be in a theme park. Never mind riding water rides. But no joke. I'm absolutely soaked through. Weather conditions right now? Weather? Yeah, it's not bad, not bad. Weather. 59 degrees. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, how did you find Splash Mountain then? It was good. It was good. Uh, but most of the effects were broken. So, yeah, that's what I was just going to get to. There was a lot, I would say, a good 30% of the effects were broken. But it's January and it's about to go in for refurb in a couple of weeks. As soon as we go home, it's going into refurb. So oh, who's your I'll let them off. Who's your way Who's your way that? Hello? Hello? Theme park all the way. Yeah, I'm getting the queue. Queue jumping. No, the Disneyland definition of queue jumping. We're now oh, going on. Oh, there it is. Queue jumping. There we go. Name is Shames. Found this video then. Hey, you have a good day. And <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, still subscribe. You go to Disneyland, you'll have a good day. We're now going on Pirates of the Caribbean. This is Alex's first time on this one here. This one, yeah. You're looking forward to it? Oh, Hey, oh, what's he doing? Safe. Looking forward to this. I love Paris. We went into refurb um, when we were here last time, so we got it a couple of times and that was it. So it should be looking really nice and fresh this one with it just being out of refurb. What do you think, Alex? Looking forward to Pirates again? What? Looking forward to doing Pirates again? Yeah, it's good. I like this. is my favourite version of Pirates of the Caribbean. Do you realise Alex doesn't understand a word we're saying? He's just sort of agreeing with us. <laughs> he's ready for something like that. So he's just go, oh, yeah, yeah. He loves Harry Styles that much. He's got a H on his top, but there we go. Let's go. Harry Styles. Dance all right, it's the best song ever. There we go. And so line and whatever the this is a really nice area. I'll show you a little panning shot of this. Really nice entrance. We left this Creepy Chris. Hey! <laughs> 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 yep. For you right there, we're going to go on the. Sometimes Treehouse. Because yeah. he likes the Swiss family treehouse. Yeah. <laughs> What's he called again? Tarzan. Yeah, Creepy Chris. Creepy Chris. Oh, Creepy Chris. Tarzan. Yeah. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting to start it like that, Well, that was a bonus. Pirate.
superstructure. Here we go, we just come off Pirates of the Caribbean. Before we ask Alex on his thoughts, and I'll tell you a bit about it, I thought I'd show you this, look. I think I mentioned it in the last vlog, but this is the setup for Fantasmic. See them big panels on the floor, what's just closing up? So it doesn't ruin the view in the day. The panels lift up and they hide these underground, and then they lift up like so. Yeah. Jim. And once that panel's down, this one on the right will go down. And you got three of those, you got this one, one over there, and you got one over there. They're not done then yet, actually. We might go and have a look at that one, see that one going up. What do you think of Pirates of the Caribbean then? Obviously you've done this version, Disneyland Paris version and the Magic Kingdom version now. What do you think? What do you like? Definitely. What do you dislike? Well, if I was to talk about the three of them as a whole, I think that would be easy to explain. Disneyland Paris has the best queue line. Agreed. As a ride and as a structure and an overall experience, this one tops the list. Magic Kingdom, everything seems to work the best technically. I know it's a few small technical bumps, only minor, but nothing, yeah. nothing major. But if they, if all, if all three of those, all, all of the Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios things are brought over to here, it would be phenomenal. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was so good, but I can see how there's the elements from one that would look quite better with another to make one super incredible experience. Yeah. For me, if I'm not immersed in the queue line, it does straight away bring down my over right experience. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. It, it only brings it down to maybe a seven and a half. Cold. Like this queue line is a massive improvement on Pirates already, isn't it? If, it had, if this had had the Disneyland Paris queue line, it would have been an eight and a half. But it has to be a seven and a half because I didn't feel immersed until I was actually on the ride. Yeah. You know, going through the restaurant, the past the restaurant was absolutely wonderful. But you thought, in terms of a ride, it was the best. The ride, it was the definitely the best, yeah. I would have said the same. Just, just, just yeah. on the ride. You enjoy Alex too as well? Alex yeah. Mark too. Alex yeah, Mark. Old, older Alex. We're going on the Jungle Cruise now, but not as you jingle. know it. It's actually the jingle build cruise. it up when he goes and ruins it. <laughs> the Jingle Cruise. I'll do that for you. Now, this is basically uh, a Christmas festive version cruise, of the classic jingle cruise. jungle cruise. So this involves bits of theming around the attraction in terms of Christmas wreaths, garlands, lights, tinsel, tinsel all sorts of stuff around, you know, sure, basically. Like, what do you think of tinsel, Sean? I don't like tinsel, no. but they've done it quite well. And what, what is tinsel, Alex? I had no idea until today. Exactly, you didn't know, know until today. Tinsel. We'll show you plenty it? of that on this ride. <laughs> uh, you know, you'll notice some really nice sort of little touches they've done on this. I'm looking forward to it. I've only ever seen it on a POV. It's the only Jungle Cruise at any Disney park to actually change um, at this time of year, I believe, so. Super Looking forward to it. Part so far. I do, yeah, you're, you're enjoying Disneyland. Obviously, you've seen nothing of California Adventure yet. We'll be stepping into there in a completely separate vlog uh, that I will put the link down in the description uh, to that separate vlog, which will be from California Adventure. Uh, a lot of you said when I was here in September you wanted to see both parks sort of in separate vlogs, so that's what I decided to do for this one. It always shows that give me your feedback and I will do my best to. So the thing was, you had such a time restriction before when you came That was the thing. It was easier to say, right, it's a Disneyland Resort vlog. This time we can say, yes, we're going to spend the full day in here. Because if you're just here for a couple of days, like it was, well, five days, you want to go in each park in the same day. You want to think, right, I've done all the major attractions in this park. Now I'm going to go next How door. Do like all that. Me for a hey. all right. See, this is a little Christmas touch, little things like this, though. You've got some nice B&M Bargains oh, lights. I like that flag. Yeah, there you go. Right, you ready for the National Anthem of Great Britain? Oh, let's see. No? Okay, then. Yeah. God save the Queen. Let's get on. Jungle Cruise. Jungle Part Cruise. Two. Let's go. Welcome aboard the Jingle Cruise. My name is Skipper Shelley. If you didn't hear me, the launch ship and a holiday decoration. But we found them. They're in the jungle the whole time. Yeah, hey, two Tell them who did it. No, please? No, come on, guys. No, they're off um, I guess they're not going to tell us. As you can see, these decorations are for the birds. Yeah. 
Now that can sit in there winging it. Banana bread, like a whole bunch of it. We can put it up amongst each other. It's so appealing. But watch your biscuits, little buddy. That's going to be kicked on for sure. If you look carefully to the left, you might see what I got for the holidays. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Yeah. But don't feel bad for me. Feel bad for this poor guy. This girl has been trying to reach those candy canes for months. Yeah, that's why they're in mint condition. Uh, go, Rilla, you can do it. Go, Rilla, you can. Oh, wow. We got lots of happy animals. Happy zebra, happy giraffe, happy new deer, oh, and happy lions. But guys, guys, don't eat that. That plastic's molded. Oh, I don't think they believe me. They probably think I'm lying. <laughs> Here you go. There's our lost safari having a disagreement over where to put the star on the tree. Never argue with a rhino, bro. If that works. You're just plugging up such a uh, crack fire. Crack shot, crack shot, that's what I mean. Work the heart. Welcome to Headhunter territory. Uh, as you can see, it's the best place to be headed. Yeah. What are they up to today? Oh, wow. I actually speak a bit of their language, so let me see if I can translate. We want to return the sweaters. Oh, no, 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 guys. They look better on you. Find these keepers. <laughs> Marky! After a fantastic ride on the Jingle Cruise, we're now going on the Matterhorn, one of my favourites. Uh, Jingle Cruise was great, not much different than obviously Jungle Cruise, uh, and it's normal operating sort of really. Uh, but it was good, there was a few little changes in there to the speech, uh, so it was good, I enjoyed it. You like Jingle Cruise? Yeah. yeah it was good. We're going on Matterhorn Mountain now. Alex is on that side. It's his first time. I absolutely love this coaster. You remember when I first rode this back in September? I absolutely loved it. I was so excited to ride it. It definitely lived up to expectations. It's even better at night though. Look how good that looks. It's very tight. Yeah, the seats are very tight. I don't know how Alex is going to get on over there. I'm sure it'll be all right. For throughputs, though, obviously, if you didn't know, Matterhorn is two roller coasters. You got a station over there and a station on this side. Look at all those trains parked up. We're actually in the single rider line at the moment. There's a single rider line for this side and also for that side as well. Let's go, come along for the ride, Matterhorn Mountain. a fantastic ride on the front row of the Matterhorn bobsleds. What do you think? Wow, fantastic. Was it worth coming all the way for that? I mean, it's my favourite ride here. I'll tell you what, if, you, if you're not expecting those yeses, they come with quite a surprise. They're good, they're better than the ones on Expedition Everest. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, they were a later edition, they were only well, added well, last year, weren't they, the yeses? Like Everest, yeah. most of them actually exist rather than just video screens. Yeah. Yeah, the Yetis were only a later edition. They were literally done last year. Brilliant. But this is something really special. This is It's a Small World, and it's the only one that gets the whole exterior done festive. I mean, the, other, like, the colours aren't really showing up on the camera that well as they are in person. Uh, but it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. What, what would you give it out of 10 for the Matterhorn? And how would you put it alongside other coasters that you've done? If, if you were to compare against other coasters, it wouldn't rank it so highly. But if you were to rate it as an individual coaster, it would definitely get an 8.5 out of 10. Is it in your top 10? It's in my top 10. Yeah. It is a good ride. I love it. Look at this. I mean, we saw this last night for the first time. I've seen photos of this for years and thought, wow, I wanted to go and see it. And look at it, absolutely beautiful. Look at it, it's stunning. I mean, they don't, I thought they just did the facade. I didn't realize they did 
all the trees and stuff. I mean, have they been doing all the trees and that for years as yeah. well? Yeah. yeah. Obviously, he's seen it a lot more, you know, over the years, haven't you? This. I suppose this was your oh, childhood. Oh. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Hey, I'm sure your lights have been fixed around the side. Which ones? You're worried about some lights that have gone out last night. Yeah. Oh, and the ones on there. Oh, they have? Wow. Oh, last night we came and there was a few lights out. And us being lion enthusiasts, we noticed. And they fixed them. There you go. Yeah. That, that's right. Yeah, because last night there was a couple of sections off. Them two bottom yeah. red uh, arches are off. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. The, the camera really doesn't do it justice. It's one of those things you need to come here and see it, that. Because it's a 360 thing, you know, it's not just there, it's all the way around. So you get that in the UK. You don't, you really don't get that in the UK. The closest you get to this in the UK was my house. <laughs> not anymore. Uh, but no, seriously, the parks in the UK, look at this. Or Fred and Joe. You know, like I know that a lot of park management in the UK watch these videos. You're seeing this now, you need to get your asses in gear. And, you know, look at this, look at everybody. Taking pictures, you know. <laughs> opening a few rides for a Christmas event isn't going to bring people in. Opening a full park and doing something good is what people want to do. And not charging, you know, ridiculous amounts for it. You know, Disneyland is the number one, like, pin thing on Instagram as a location. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting fact. Yeah. But yeah, honestly, you know, they need to look at stuff like this and think, you know, let's do it. If we've got the buildings there to do it, let's do it. Gorgeous. sort of in Toontown, you know, it's a really good dark ride. When we were here in September, we didn't really know what to expect with this one, but when you get on it, it's some really good scenery. Standard sort of length, sort of same sort of length as the um, dark ride in Fantasyland, really. But what I like about this is it's interactive. You've got like a little spinning disc and you spin it, you know, to go to the side. It's actually quite good, you get some good forces on it, I like it. Also got one of the best themed queue lines in Disney, believe it or not. I mean, look at this. Looks really nice. Everywhere is immersive. Nowhere's on theme. Towers as well. Yeah, you saw a little shot of that. It's nice, so we'll get you on coming on for the ride. Oh, I look really good then in that hand in blue. Oh, oh yeah. Can't find it. Nice theming. I was just saying, something like this, you know, in the UK, go down really well. Something with this style theming. It reminds me a little bit of Ratatouille in Disneyland Paris. I think Ratatouille would have worked better if the whole queue would have been inside really. I mean, I'll be honest, I've only ever queued in the outdoor queue once for that, but it wasn't enjoyable. But look at this, little things like this, you know. That's like Alex, he doesn't get his own way. <laughs> I want to sit down. I don't like to sit down, I'm going to. There's a difference. But usually I'm going to. Shut up, milkman. Let's go on the ride. <laughs> Oh, God. 
try it. Try it, try it, try it, try it. Pull it. Is anybody in there? Hello? Ah! <laughs> 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 Welcome to Disneyland. Welcome to Disneyland.